Today I'm going to show you how to get past a Windows 10 local account password on your computer. So there's two different types of accounts that you can create on Windows 10. One is the default Microsoft account when you first set up a computer and that requires you to put in your Microsoft account whether it's a, a Hotmail address or Yahoo or Gmail you have to actually connect an account to Microsoft and that creates a profile on the computer. The other way to do it is to create what's called a local profile. That means the profile is specifically on this machine and doesn't connect to Microsoft in any way. Not a whole lot of difference between the two for the vast majority of people, but I'm gonna show you today how to get past a local Windows 10 password. If, say for example, you pick up a computer that it's password protected and you feel like you can't use it, I'm gonna show you how to get around that. If you want to know how to get past a Windows 10 Microsoft account password. There's a link above. You can click on that and that will take you right to the video to show you how to do that. Okay, so the only thing you're going to need in order to reset this password is a Windows installation disk for Windows 10. So you can get this from Microsoft. It's totally free. I made a video about it. I'll put the link right up here for you. And when you're done, you can download that Windows installation to either a DVD or a flash drive. And then once you have that, you have everything you need to reset your password. In this case, I'm gonna put it all on my flash drive. Okay, so from your main login screen that you cannot log into because you don't have the password, hold down the shift key and go down here and click on the start button and click restart. When you restart the computer and you have the DVD in the drive or you have the USB plugged in, you'll have this option here to use a device you click on use the device and it'll either show your DVD or your USB. In this case, I don't have a DVD drive. I'm using the USB for the Windows 10. So I'm just gonna select this and the computer will restart. Now this is the Windows setup screen that's loaded off my USB, or if you're using the DVD, it will load off of that. You go ahead and click next, and then you wanna choose repair your computer. You'll get this menu that comes up. You wanna select troubleshoot, and then go to command prompt. That will bring up this command prompt window. From this window, type C colon enter. That will bring you to your C prompt. From here, type CD space windows backslash system 32, enter. From this screen, type copy space U-T-L-I-M-A-N dot E-X-E space C colon backslash enter. What that does is this util man file is the ease of access file for Windows. When you get that login screen and you can click on sticky keys or on-screen keyboard, that's what that is. We're just replacing that with a different file. We're going to replace it with the command prompt so we can hack the password. What I want to do is I want to make a copy of that file so I can replace it later. So I copied it to the root of the C drive. And now the next step is to copy the command prompt and replace that file. I'm going to type copy space cmd.exe, which is the file for command prompt, space utilman.exe, and then hit enter. It's gonna ask if I want to overwrite it. I wanna say yes, and now the file is overwritten. It'll all make sense here in just a minute. So I type exit and then select turn off my PC. Go ahead and remove the flash drive and turn the computer back on. Now when the computer comes back on, you'll still see the login that you can't get into, but if you click on the ease of access now, instead of the accessibility options, you now see it brings you up to a command prompt. So from this point, what you want to do is type net space user, enter, and you'll see the list of accounts. There's the account that I want to get into called YouTube. All I have to do to change the password is type net space user space YouTube, which is the username, or in your case, owner or Frank or whatever, net space username space password and I'll just give it a password of 123456, hit enter. Now the password has been changed. I type exit, go to my login screen, type 123456, enter, and just like that, I've bypassed a Windows 10 local login password, and now I have full access to the computer. And if I want to remove that password, I can hit Control-Alt-Delete, click on change password, type in my old password, which is 123456, and then just leave new password blank and click the arrow to confirm. And now the password has been changed. Now, as you can see, when Windows boots up, it logs straight into the desktop with no password. And now you have a fully working Windows 10 machine with no password. 
Now, of course, that last part, you can remove the password if you want. You can change it. You can do whatever you want. I personally don't need it, but I wanted to show you how to do it. So that's all there is to removing a Windows 10 password if it's a local account. Again, if you want to get into a machine that has a Windows 10 login protected by a Microsoft account, there is a different video for that. I'll link it down below. Either way, regardless of whether it's a local account or a Microsoft account, there is a way to get into the computer. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click on that like button for me. It really helps my channel. Click on subscribe if you enjoy this type of content and click on that notification bell if you'd like to get notified anytime I make new content like this for you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.